party with Macklemore. <laughs> That's my goal to meet him and let see him wearing a hat or a shirt of ours. I don't know. I just have a whole bunch of visuals set up and just throw our own huge party. You know, really need to set the bar higher because you're uh, <laughs> I know, right? achieving these goals so quickly. <laughs> My goodness, it's a dream come true for Marine turned artist Michael Zach. He and business partner Brad Lawrence of BL Visuals were invited to hang out with Macklemore at his concert at the Palace over the weekend. Amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> we're going to talk about that in just a second, but first, let's talk about what led up to that and, and why you guys are so colorfully uh, adorned today. So I was in the military and he went to a uh, college of creative studies out of Detroit mm -hmm. and he's the brains of the operation. Mm -hmm. I had no clue about art. This is a huge movement by the way. Uh, yes, not just like in the clubs and the bars but these electronic music festivals creating this art you can wear. You've got it on your skin and on your clothing. I really like this. <laughs> You'd have this to fight is a good it, look though. right here, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I mean I get how you guys got together but how did you envision doing this? It's a, it's a totally different kind of art. We just, we did like a few pairs of shoes, but then we realized we can do it anywhere and cover any do it anywhere. type of people. Cover people, we went to Electric Forest uh, over the summer, just painted up quite a few people. Um, we've just been rolling with it ever since. Uh, a week and a half ago, we didn't know what we would be doing, and then we got on with Marielle Lou, we had our segment week after that suddenly we're meeting our hero uh, oh. next weekend we're going to Orlando to paint at one of the biggest festivals Electric Daisy Carnival Are you super really? excited for that so this yeah. is all news that's kind of come in last minute so um, the way you did this though I mean you were injured correct yes, in battle and then you had carpal tunnel uh, I got tendonitis in tendonitis. my right wrist from drawing so much so just I mean to, c to come from that and, and to create such beautiful things, it has to feel so good. Let's talk about Macklemore, all right? <laughs> How did that come about, like, just a week or so after that wow. story aired? Yeah. So Mario Lou and Bob the camera guy came to our house, and uh, <laughs> Bob ended up being the connection to Macklemore Security Garden. Oh, my gosh. It well, turned out that. perfect. Hooked us up with beautiful seats, uh -huh. and then after they let all the other fans go through and they talked to them, then they gave us a minute longer with them because we were the last fans and they sat there and watched our, our video and usually they're they're like trying to get stuff that fans want. Oh yeah. And we didn't want anything. We just wanted to right. see them and then He's let gonna them He's going to want your stuff probably. We did, we did paint up a, uh, a Seattle Mariners hat for him. Nice. Gave it to him after the show. You give him a Tigers one with that too. I know he's probably <laughs> a Seattle fan being from there but let's talk about this uh, festival in Orlando and, and the way you described it in Marielle's package um, just it, that was such a great description and it, for people who may not have seen that what's it like to be out there and to, and to be able to create this vision you know the way you made it sound like I so like crazy yeah well it's it's great because at Electric Daisy we don't have to charge for paint jobs people just come up uh, we ask them their favorite color kind of play off of that and then we dip them in there and instantly can transform them into looking like this and at Electric Daisy they have all these different carnival rides set up but also all these lights and everything and underneath these lights it looks like your arm pulsates and that's what our shirts do and everything but then that way people can be part of all of their surroundings and everything which is what Electric Daisy is about is that every person there is a performer too that everybody's part of the art part of the show contributing to it now how do you do this? Tell me about the body paint first. What kind of paint do you use and how long does it last? It's all a uh, water-based paint and we're able to uh, use the consistency of it with a mixture that we have so that it floats on the top. We can create all these abstract, crazy, really, really loose designs and then transfer them to our arms and it'll stay for the duration of the night for these people. Oh, there and you go, right there. There's a shot of you kind of blending it there. Yep. That is very, very cool. And the shirts, um, how do you come up with the different ideas? I can, I, I mean, uh, this one's pretty obvious. It's just letting our, <laughs> letting our imaginations go crazy. Yeah, it's, it's really cool to play off of uh, logos on a shirt or something like this, but I really try to play off of the shape of the human figure, too. Uh, so having things kind of wrap up around oh, the yeah. torso kind of plays off it so that it's not too crazy on a person as they're walking around. Right. We don't want anybody who's <laughs> <laughs> on a bad acid trip at one of these concerts to, like, freak out. No, I'm just totally joking. We've had that, though. I would, 
would, I would see that. But this this would be a way to not have to do that and exactly. still have that this out of body a, experience. Yep. I would think. Yep. Tell people how they can learn more about you guys, where they can uh, get some cool gear. Our website is blvisuals.com. You can uh, find us on Facebook too, facebook.com slash blvisuals. Uh, we paint every single day, upload photos of all the stuff that we're doing and who we're getting to meet and uh, where we're getting to go. And so you know you have to you have to tell us your next goal since you already have met Malcolm Moore. I think our next goal is to make sure EDC goes smooth without any problems, nobody getting hurt. Well, we don't want anyone to get hurt. You've yeah, already you know. served our country, so <laughs> you've done your job. Thank plus, you guys so much for being here. What were you going to say? Uh, just plus, it's so cool that we got to get our whole crew to go see Macklemore. That was a yeah. huge thing to us. And the fact that we're about to embark on our own, like, tour of painting, you know, and I just, I hope that our crew gets to stay as close as it seems like Macklemore and his crew are. Because mm -hmm. it just looks like they're out there doing what they want, but having a blast doing it. Well, you guys seem like great guys, and I wish you much success in the future. you got to keep you. in touch with us, okay? <laughs> Thank you. Yes, Detroit's